Hey guys, I'm gonna be showing three ways to remove or nullify the underhook from deep half guard, all right? All right, first one, um, I'm in deep half guard. Okay, uh, first one, First one, he doesn't have like a super deep underhook. He just kind of a shallow underhook, okay? Um, from here, I'm gonna do what's called a deep half rewind. So right now I'm in deep half guard. When I'm at the end of this deep half rewind, I wanna end up here, um, kind of in this knee twist half guard. My, I'm basically facing the other way and my opposite leg is now hooking his leg instead of from the deep half guard, it was the opposite leg, okay? And I have my arm wrapped around. So first, so what I wanna do from here is, he just kinda, he doesn't fully, fully have the deep underhook. He starts to get the underhook though, and it's too late for me to bring my hand back in, okay? From here, I'm gonna bring my other hand and, and grip my hand, pull it over a little bit, and kind of get down towards his lower, uh, towards the pit of the knee, okay? I don't wanna go up high here because that's just gonna make his underhook stronger. I actually wanna stretch my arm out a little lower and that's gonna weaken his underhook, okay? From here, I'm gonna take my left foot, the inner foot, and hook it onto his ankle. If I can't reach it for whatever reason, um, I can, you know, come onto my right side and I can even help my hand. I can grip the pants and lift, or if it's like a nogi, um, I can just pull on the knee and that will kind of lift his foot. You see what that does? Lifts his foot a little bit, that's natural. So I'll come on my side, pull the knee a little bit and then um, bring my foot under. Alternatively, I can help with my other foot, okay? So I can here put my foot on top of his foot, lift it up a little bit, and now I'm, uh, I'm okay to go, okay? From here, I wanna place my other foot on top. So I'm still blocking him from just bringing his leg out, okay? So here he has uh, a little bit of an underhook, okay? I'm gonna bring my arm down towards my rib cage, straighten it out a little bit instead of bringing it up here where he'd get a deeper underhook, okay? It should be noted that here I'm more mobile. Look, I can move his weight around because I now have this hook on the bottom, like a butterfly hook on his ankle, okay? So here I can really move his weight around a lot, okay? So combining this, I'm gonna do the deep half rewind. I'm gonna come here and then I'm gonna come all the way around and I'm gonna keep my hand low, okay? From here, I basically have the underhook, but his hand is trapped inside. So it doesn't matter that he has an underhook anymore. It's kind of useless, okay? From here, um, you can do all types of things. You can knee bar, you can come up um, and go for a regular dog fight. He's probably gonna pull his arm out because it's kind of pinned to his body. It's not a strong underhook anymore. When he has a strong underhook, he's, it's usually he has his elbow away from his body um, and, and his hand towards himself. If his hand is like this, underhook doesn't really do much, okay? So going through that fast one time. So I'm here in the deep half, okay? What I wanna do is bring my arm down, my elbow to, down towards my body, get around to the pit of his knee, okay? I wanna use my other foot, my two feet to help me get more on my side. Use this foot to help me hook, switch the hooks. And now I, I'm still trapping his ankle, okay? From here, I can, uh, I'm more mobile, okay? I can easily control his weight. I'll do the deep half rewind. So I'm here. I come out a little bit to unbalance him, then I come back and I keep this low. Here, now, 
now I can have this underhook around his waist and my foot would be hooking his leg. I can come up and go for whatever attacks I want. All right, all right, this is the second option. So now we're doing option two. Guys, what I can also do from here is just try and go to X guard, okay? Or some variation of it. So he has the underhook, okay? I'm gonna, first of all, try and stabilize, grab my other hand. I like the S grip better than the gable grip in this situation, okay? It's, it's a stronger grip for this situation, okay? From here, if he has the gi pants, I can grab, this kind of replaces the grip, and I can do the same thing. Bring, bring uh, my other foot, help me get a grip, a hook on this foot, okay? From here, I just lift up and get it deeper. Now I kind of have an X guard, then I can bring my leg in, switch the hooks, and now he would still have, he would still have the underhook, but it's almost useless now. I have a grip here, and I can begin to set up X guard, and uh, I, I can hold his leg down so that he can't jump over for a Kimura. From here, he's more off balance, and I'm creating more distance, so his underhook is becoming more and more useless, okay? All right. Now, if we want to talk about Nogi, it's still a similar concept, okay? So he has the underhook. Um, I'm going to come bring my hands, connect, get them like locked really well, okay? I'm going to go to the pit of the knee, okay? Um, I'm going to temporarily use this grip, or I can even keep this grip and just use my foot. But right, I'm going to go to the pit of the knee, clamp down, and help um, use my foot to hook his leg, switch the hook, okay? And then from here, I can use this hand to help prop up his, his thigh, okay? Bring my leg up to the, to the pit of his knee, okay? Switch my foot, and all, all the while I can be holding, just delaying with my, my grip here. Switch, okay, now from here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop up, I'm gonna still grip the back of his thigh, bring my hand in here to help, to help my uh, other hook. And then here, get the grip here, okay? If I can't reach that, I can still grab up here. Now I, I'm creating more distance, okay? Then I can here, switch. Now I'm just creating more distance, his underhook. He, I mean, he has to be close, close to me relatively to do the underhook. From here, I can begin to think about sweeping him or he may let go because he doesn't want to get swept um, and lose his, his underhook that he would go for like a Kimura or something or a knee cut, okay? Um, so from here, like last time, I'm gonna underhook his other leg so that he can't jump over and roll over and like land like that to go for a Kimura, okay? So this, this move, what we're gonna do here. Okay, so he has the underhook, okay? I'm gonna grab like an S grip, um, all right? Or I'm gonna grab the pants of the gi, all right? I'm gonna use my foot to help me uh, hook his leg, switch the hooks, go up to the knee, okay? From here I can re-grab and, and switch the hooks, come up, bring my uh, hand here, and now he's pretty elevated. Now I have even more room to insert my other hook. So I have like a, almost like a full X guard. Now from here, I can imbalance him and sweep. Um, or I can just even keep moving to a, a like full X guard where I put my foot on the hip. Then he would like actually be standing up. There's no way he can underhook you from there. Okay. This is, uh, now I'm going to do the third option. This is perhaps the strongest okay but it's also a little bit more like the hardest to get okay so 
So this one, he actually has a pretty deep underhook. It's not looking like the other two options are gonna work, okay? So this one, he has the underhook, all right? From here, you just wanna embrace the underhook, go with it, okay? You're gonna grab your hands, um, lock them, but he still has a deep underhook. You're not gonna get out of this easily. From here, you're gonna scoot your weight down. So you're gonna rotate yourself you're gonna pop your head out the other way. So if you see, I was bringing my hips down and bringing my knees up to get myself lower towards this foot. Then I had to bridge up or bring my knees up to get my head out. And now when I get my head out, I bring my head back. So now even if he wants to let go of the underhook, he can't, he's stuck, okay? Now I grab the back of the tricep um, if you have a gi, you can grab the grip, but the, the, just the regular grip is strong anyway, and it works for no gi too, okay? I still have, you know, my legs here around his leg. From here, I got two options. I can go for a dars, okay? So from here, any way I can get this leg out is easy. I can even just, you know, bring it out myself if I can reach you know, with the, with the hook, I can do that regardless. So from here, I'm just gonna grab his, his head, switch to a Dars, okay? All right, I mean, that's super sneaky too. There's no way, I mean, you probably wouldn't have, usually people don't see that coming. And even if you would have seen it coming, there's not much you can do about it, okay? So again, I'm here, I'm gonna lock this down. Guys, if I lock this down, it doesn't matter if he's stronger than me, he's in a weird position, I'm in a strong position, he can't pull this out, okay? However I want, I'm gonna clear this leg, okay? So if I want, I can use hooks to get it off, um, but I don't even need that, I can just bring my arm in like this. Now I'm gonna switch to a Dars, okay? Here, 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 okay? I can just finish like that. Other thing I can do um, is, just, is just come back up to like a headlock position, okay? So I'm here, however I wanna clear this, okay? I can come here. Now I'm gonna use this to pull myself up. So I'm gonna scissor um, my legs here. And I still have this grip and now I have like the front headlock. From here, I can go for a guillotine or I can switch around, you know, to the turtle, take back, whatever I wanna do, okay? So let's see that again, okay? This is option three, okay? So he's here. He has a pretty good underhook. I don't think I'm gonna get it. You know, I can try the the X guard way, but he's pretty good, like latched on there. I might not be able to get him off, okay? So from here, I just gotta embrace it. Okay, I'm gonna grab an S grip, okay? And I'm gonna kinda shimmy my way down. I'm gonna go side to side while bringing my knees up here, here. From here, I'm gonna bring my head up. Still got my knees locked, okay? Now I can disconnect my arms because I have the tricep grip. This is super powerful, okay? He can't come on me from here. He doesn't have the angle. He doesn't even have my wrist, okay? He also can't pull out if he wants to because I have a strong latched on grip, okay? From here, I'm gonna get rid of this grip, okay? This foot from here, like we said, we can go for the Dars, or we can scissor up and come here. His head is gonna be low because you have his tricep. So he's gonna have to be like this, okay? He's not gonna have his head up super high. 
because his tricep is connected to his shoulder. You have a good grip on, uh, like, uh, you can control his head relatively well because you're controlling his tricep, okay? So, that third option, okay? You're here, embrace the underhook, okay? Um, get like an S grip, you're gonna move your hips down and bring your knees up. Bring yourself towards his foot, okay? Bring yourself up here, get out your head on the other side of his body. Now you can even bring yourself back a little bit, okay? You have the tricep here. However you wanna clear the, the leg, if you just wanna like do this too, it's fine. From here you can go for the dars or you can go for the um, scissor your legs and grab the back of the head. Now you're in a like front headlock control with the arm. You know, from here you can go for a regular guillotine. Um, you can go for anaconda. You can switch to the back control with the, you know, turtle, stuff like that, okay? That last one, um, I first saw it done by Jake McKenzie. Check him out. He's a really good deep half guard, half guard guy. Um, Jeff Glover also does that. So those techniques, they really work. All right. Let me know if you want to see any certain techniques in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.